naghang siya kanina kaya hindi ako naka ano. So um again let us be judicious in and in, in you know uh, persuading the president but the president is not naive he knew that for a fact uh, may mga rally for Rivgo may mga rally for Rivgo maybe create an awareness for the people to be aware to get to be ready if in case there is a revolution by a group of people by calling for the ouster of the president actual upheaval actual arising then the president can declare a Rivgo Maybe sa mga rally-rally, explain yan na this is what we expect if this happens. Let us be ready for ourselves. This is what we are supposed to do. Ganun. Mas mabuti na i-prepare ang mga tao, make an awareness what would be the circumstances, what would be the consequence if RIVGO will, will, be, ano, will be declared and ano ang dapat natin gawin. Ganyan. So, ang sa akin lang, kung gusto talaga natin na may RIVGO, and mind you, na i-blog ko na ito at para malaman sa sambayanan, coming from the mouth of Trillianis during the forum, kasi nga I asked for another 30 seconds to speak with him, uh, kasi hindi pa tapos ang pagtatanong ko sa kanya regarding uh, democracy definition, kasi I have to turn the table to him. And I told him that, Mr. Senator, in behalf of democracy, let me speak let me finish asking questions with you sabi niya after daw mag-usap kami actually he came to me after the concluding prayer nag-usap kami very kadiotra and then both of us were uh, nagkamayan kami both of us were talking the same time so, he, maingay hindi nagdirinigan sabi niya ganito kasi sabi ko this is it mr senator you are nag, nagsimula akong nagsalita nagsalita siya pero pinahiwalay kami sa organizer the only thing that was very vivid at my memory, and I hear it loud and clear, whoever did the S that was behind ito, uh, i-message yung ako, kasi narinig ko sa kanya. Sabi niya, baka kasi nung di, the organizer really put and organizer, uh, bakit ayaw nila, I don't know, bakit ayaw nila kung kausapin si Trillianis, at tanungin sa mga sa mga um, uh, clarificatory questions very clear na sinasabi niya sa akin um, ganito kasi baka magdeclare yan ng revolutionary government it's no no yun narinig ko yun coming from his mouth how i wish i recorded it tingnan ko sa mga video ko na ano that means the opposition even him the most vicious critic of the president is really scared of a revolutionary government. Re they are really not into Rivgob. Kasi bakit niya sinabi? Baka kasi mag-declare yan ng Rivgob. It's a no-no. Tapos binulag na kasi kami. Tapos maraming tao, the, the organizer said, No, Mr. Senator, let's ha we have to go. We have to go. Tapos ako din, somebody pulled me away. Sabi ko, we are having a... a a cordial conversation. Dapat, pinafinish ako ng magtanong sa kanya. Pero that was the clear words na sinabi niya sa akin. Baka kasi mag-declare yan ng revolutionary government. It's a no-no. That means, without him elaborating why, kasi nga binulag na kami, that means he's afraid. The opposition are afraid of RevGov. So lalo akong nag-favor sa RevGov. Kasi, Itong kabulasugan na ginawa nila, ma-stop to lahat pag may revolutionary government. However, again, let us be circumspect. Let us allow them to dance at their cha-cha. Let us allow them to dance at their revolt. Ngayong November 5, in the guise of prayer for healing, nanawagan na naman ang simbahan na mag-converge mag sa EDSA to pray. Hindi ba makapagdasal sa mga bahay, sa mga simbahan, sa mga chapel? Bakit sa EDSA pa? Kasi disguise yan. That is in a form of disguise to pray at EDSA. Pero magrarally yan. Magpunta dyan ang mga tambok na Frank Drillon, si Nasi Risa Huntivero, si Trilliani, si Bam Aquino, si Kiko. Magkanta yan si Sincha Patag na wala ng project. Magkanta din yan si Jim Paredes na wala nang, uh, uh, wala nang magtingin sa concert niya. And let them be. 
that is our chance for them to demonstrate their revolution. At an any point, my lawlessness, my violence, at any point, they won't leave uh, EDSA. They will call for a uh, removal of the president. Tapos may pagsunog-sunog ng mga kotse, pag belligerence, may violence. May, they are very stubborn and calling for removal of the president or so. And then mag-converge ang mga tao, mag-ano mag na. The president could anytime declare the rape go because the president knew for a fact that that is an element to legitimate a, re a provisional revol revolutionary government. See? Huwag nating sabayan. Kung mag sila, let them dance to their craziness. Kung gusto natin ang rape go, lit. Bahala na sila. Sige, magsunog kayo ng kotse dyan. Mag, mag ano kayo mga kasambahay. Mag ano kayo dyan lahat. And kung mapuno ang Pangulo, the president can declare rape go. And that rape go, is legitimate because there is a satisfying circumstances. Tiwa sila tanan. From there, all positions will be declared vacant. The president can call a commission to create a, 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 a plebiscite or an election for a plebiscite for a, a shift to federalism. And then from there, processes for federalism, bago na lahat, 360 degrees, yun. Huwag natin silang sabayan kung magrali. Let them be. Let them be. Kasi legitimize ang Rivkov ng may declare ng Pangulo niyan. Uh, so, if there is severe lawlessness, violence, I mean, um, a revolution, a actual set of people revolting, upheaval, arising against a president, provisional Rivkov, transitory Rivkov can be declared to give way to a new system, a new form of government to restore order, to restore a uh, uh, functional democracy. Ganun. Pero kung tayo lang, Luzon, Mises, Mindanao, declare ng support ng rape sa Pangulo, walang actual revolution, that is the tapwat pagmamahal, suporta. It's hard to validate that as a form of revolution. Kasi revolution as defined, a group of people or part of population arising upheaval against a sitting government. That is not a, an upheaval. That is not an arising. It could be like a revolution, say, for instance, technological revolution, but not a frame of definition of a revolution. Everything goes back to legality. Everything goes back to legal terminology. Right? I might not be a lawyer, but I research this re really well so people can understand. Without that, it's really hard. To cite Attorney Trixie, Attorney Trixie, she's a well-learned lawyer. The same thing din ang ano niya. We have to be circumspect. Even Professor Contreras, the same thing din. See? Satisfying circumstances should be met. Why does Cory Aquino able to declare Rivgov at her time? Because there was an actual revolution in the form of EDSA. EDSA 1. Meron talagang pangyayari na actual na revolution. Kaya, Legitimate yung pag-declare niya ng transitory revolutionary government. Ang wrong lang kan sa kanya is, when she declare all positions vacant, ang itinalaga niyang kapalit, say, mayor ng lugar, declared vacant ang mayor na tanggal, ang ipinalit niya yung kalabang mayor na sa eleksyon na talo. Useless, puro politiko. They should choose the right people to be in place, having managerial skill, having administrative skill, will learn it, not a politician, having really a command of thoughts that can really be an impetus of change. Pero ang dilagay mo dyan, tinalaga mo yung kalaban sa mayor na natalo during election, you defeat the purpose. Puro yan mga politiko, puro yan may mga wala. That was the wrong of Aquino. I cannot blame her because she don't have any legal background, which is, you know, without an experience. And the problem with uh, uh, Arev Gov at uh, na, um, what do you call this one? Uh, uh, without a clear formula uh, where we are heading in a system of government, uh, kay, kay Corey, ano lang, nag Gov siya, pinalitan lahat, pero ang pinalit, mga politiko, pero the government was still the same, and unitary, she created a, a Corey constitution through um, a constituent assembly, was it a constituent assembly or constitutional convention, 1987. Um, but the, the uh, most in the constitution provisions that were there 
are pro-oligarch, pro-mayaman, pro-wala. Wala. Talagang it's, it, it, is, it, was, it was not a history that um, will really uh, uh, give way to uh, progress to the whole nation. Kasi after Cory was in the office, it was the chance that the common tao will be empowered, that the common people will progress. Pero wala. Ang nangyari, there is a, a big disparity of the rich and the poor. The rich, the oligarch become richer, the poor become poorer. That was wrong. It was, kaya nga sabi ni President Duterte, it was a shining moment. It could have been the chance of the administration to really... Ano? Uh, delicious. <laughs>